Hello and welcome back to chapter 19. Uh, in this chapter, we're going to talk about equality and its meaning and why it's important in, in uh, production, of course. Uh, and we're going to explain two concepts of quality. Uh, uh, the two concepts are quality control and quality assurance. Questions in past papers are clear about this topic and this chapter is somehow uh, short. Uh, so first, let's explain the meaning of quality. Quality is simply ensuring that the good or service meets the needs and requirements of customers. So if the business is doing this, of course, the business will, will, will be able to increase its sales and build loyalty with customers. So every one of us, if he buys a product that meets his requirements or her requirements and needs, simply we, we will be loyal to the business. And here we're not talking about the price. We are talking about a product that meets our requirements. So any product that you buy, if it meets your needs and requirements, then this product is good. We are not talking, of course, about the price. And this is the mistake that usually people uh, uh, think uh, that uh, prices are related to quality. Yes, it allows the business to increase its prices, but quality simply means the product is meeting the needs and requirements of customers. So imagine if the business is not maintaining quality, of course, it will lose customers and it has to replace faulty goods for uh, customers. So this will increase the cost and of course the reputation will uh, be ruined. So here the quality, it's not only about making high quality product or service and that's all. Of course, it has many other things to talk about. Quality is not related only to products, but also of course, it uh, applies to uh, services and it's important in both service and manufacturing sectors. How businesses achieve equality production? We have two concepts. We have a concept called quality control and the other one is called the quality assurance. Uh, quality control simply is checking the quality of goods through inspection by hiring inspectors at the end of a production process. So. Uh, this is called a traditional way of uh, checking quality. So the production process, uh, you know, has several uh, levels. Uh, so uh, at the end of the process, uh, goods are checked uh, uh, and uh, inspected through uh, trained inspectors, of course. Uh, and it has a target that only quality products reach the customers. So here we have to train inspectors so that they check the quality at the end of the process. Uh, sometimes the inspector will test the product by breaking it. You know, sometimes the product shouldn't break. So to test it, you just uh, try to break it. If it breaks, then this is a loss for the business. And this is, of course, one of the disadvantages of using or checking the quality at the end of the process only. It's expensive, of course. It used sampling. So here I use sampling because I cannot check all the products. So there is a chance somehow that some poor products reach the customers. So advantages of quality control, it tries to eliminate the errors, of course, because the, be, before the customer receives the product, uh, I need less training for workers because uh, simply inspectors will do the job at the end. But think about it, it's expensive. I need to hire inspectors, I need to train them. Uh, sometimes I have a scrap, I have a waste, which increase my cost. And uh, of course, uh, uh, some products might reach customer with uh, low quality and this might affect the business, of course, in terms of reputation and sales. That's why we call this a traditional way. Quality assurance is not a traditional way. Quality assurance, it's simply checking the quality standards throughout the production process on each and every stage of the production. There will be checking, there will be uh, somehow uh, people checking the quality of goods uh, this method is applied on all the stages of production. So the business will have uh, quality standards from the beginning, even before they start producing. It starts with the materials that we buy until we finish the product and sell it to customers. So here from raw materials to the design, to the schedule, to after sales service, all these will have quality standards. And the quality standards are simply these rules that are agreed for every stage of the production process. So in quality assurance, everyone is involved. We have like a team, everyone is involved in the quality, not only those inspectors at the end of the process. So it's purpose mainly to make cons customers or consumers satisfied, and of course, to increase the business sales, and of course, added value and the profit. This is quality assurance 
and it's uh, uh, somehow uh, the differences between uh, it and uh, quality control. So in quality assurance, of course, it helps to eliminate or uh, simply tries to eliminate the faults or errors before the customer receives the product. And this is the target of quality control and assurance at the same time. Uh, we'll have fewer co consumer complaints because uh, uh, we have somehow less errors uh, because uh, the, the quality is checked on uh, uh, all the stages and uh, reduced cost, of course, because uh, uh, now scrap is uh, less and uh, mistakes are discovered on early stages. Uh, however, it's expensive. It's expensive because everyone is involved. All the employees should be uh, trained uh, on checking the process and it relies on employees following instructions of standard sets. So your employees are the people who will apply the rules or the quality standards that you set. But everyone is involved and this is a good thing in the business. Everyone has uh, the responsibility to ensure that the products are of high quality. Total quality management, this is a very big concept. Total quality management means simply a continuous improvement of products and processes by focusing on quality at each stage of production. So this is a concept usually that uh, uh, people study at universities. TQM is, is very important. It ensures that the quality is not an event. Quality is something continuous that should happen every day, every moment. So getting it right from the first time. Everyone is involved, everyone is concerned in ensuring that good quality is always delivered. If everyone is involved, you, the TQM or Total Quality Management will help in making the cost, of course, fall. So here, the quality is built into every part of production. It's, the, it's part of the ethics of employees. Everyone works quality. Everyone has this target. And of course, it eliminates the errors. It helps to improve the brand image of the business with high sales. So we're talking about the quality that starts from early stages of production till the end, even after the customer receives the product, we uh, uh, ensure that the quality uh, is there. And this is what usually businesses try to do. Of course, not all of them. Uh, but many successful businesses, they try to ensure that the quality uh, is available in all the stages. Of course, more efficient business, less waste, and of course, uh, no goods will be scrapped as the quality is assured at all the stages. Drawbacks of total quality management, it's expensive. This is a big system that you need to train and involve everyone. So. Uh, this costs usually businesses a lot of money, but it's worth it if they get results out of it. Uh, and of course, it relies on employees. And uh, remember this, this is hard, especially if you have a lot of employees and you are going to implement this system. So if you notice this, the quality control, we have inspectors and at the end of the process, of course, the quality assurance inspection during and after the production, uh, it helps to stop the faults and there is somehow team working and responsibilities. Total quality management, which is here uh, a uh, part of the ethics of employees, quality is an aim for, or, uh, uh, for everyone, for all the staff. Uh, it, it, it encourages everyone to think about the quality. Uh, everyone means everyone in the organization no matter what the level, of course. So how can a customer be assured of quality product? If I'm a customer, you are a customer, and we want to make sure that this business is selling us a good quality uh, product or service, we have many things. There is a quality mark associated with the product. There is something called uh, ISO. It's an international organization that uh, uh, gives uh, businesses like uh, uh, a note or, uh, for example, an accreditation that they have uh, a quality in, uh, in their food or their products or whatever. Service businesses, uh, uh, they are nowadays affected by a lot of uh, social uh, uh, media uh, customers. Like nowadays, if I want to check the reputation of a restaurant before visiting it, I simply go to Facebook and check the reviews or I simply 
check trip advisor or internet sites to see uh, uh, reviews about a restaurant or about a site or whatever and we always do this uh, once we uh, want to know if this restaurant or this place or whatever thing is uh, serving or giving high quality products uh, so usually uh, nowadays uh, customers rely on these things to check the quality Okay, that's all for uh, this chapter. As you can see, it's short and easy somehow. The questions are, are clear. As I said, you have to know the meanings, quality control and assurance, and you have to know how customers know about quality and why it's important to the business. So try to link it with increase in sales, enhancement of brand image and the, lo the loyalty things and all these things. Uh, so you have to know somehow the effect of good quality on the business itself. Okay, so that's all for uh, chapter 19. Uh, thank you for listening and bye-bye.